Many of our Victorian viewers will be familiar with uh, ex and Kilda footballer Alan Stretton. Today, as Colonel Alan Stretton, he's Chief of Staff of the Headquarters of the Australian Forces in Vietnam. On this Christmas day, my thoughts will be, of course, back at home in Australia, and I think that could be said for every soldier here in Vietnam. I'd like to say a word to the mums and the dads and the older generation. Some of you may have some doubts about the younger generation at times. If you could have seen what I've seen here during the past year, to see these young Australians performing and representing you up here, you would be as proud of them as, them as I have been. I can assure you that while Australia can produce young Australians that can act as ambassadors in this country as they have done in the past year, we need to have no fears about the future. I would like to, especially this morning, say that I'll be thinking of my own wife and family who are holidaying down at Bateman's Bay and thinking of the wonderful times we've had down there over recent years. And I'm also thinking of my own mother uh, at Elwood in Victoria and I know that she'll be at a big family reunion today and I'm just sorry that I can't be here. That's all I have to say. A happy Christmas to everybody. One of the more notable landmarks around uh, Saigon is the Catholic Cathedral located in Kennedy Square. It has become familiar to many Australians. Since they were first committed to service here in Vietnam in 1962, the Australian Army's training team have done a great deal to enhance the image of the Australian fighting man. They're a group of dedicated, highly skilled professional soldiers who work alongside, advise and fight alongside local troops. Here at Play Coup, this, this group is a member or are members of Mike Force. But here today in the village of uh, Play Cat, there's a lighter side of the war. Warrant Officer Class 2, Marty McLaughlin, is a company commander and training advisor to two mobile strike forts. He comes from Ingleburn. Hello, Dal. Sorry I can't be home with you for Christmas, but I hope you're having a very, very nice day. Uh, hello, Steve. How are you, mate? Young Michael? Get all your Christmas presents OK, fellas? This is little Mike Force that I've been telling you all about. He's been little mate up here. Anyway, Dad'll be home in 90 days. Have a very, very nice Happy New Year too, love. Captain David Paul is the company commander of 223 Company Mobile Strike Force here at Blake 2. He comes from Linfield. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Uh, I guess by now my Christmas surprise of uh, walking in the door a few hours ago, an hour and hour, is uh, a bit old news. But I'm grateful to be able to talk to you on the, on the television today to... Uh, let you know why I came in case I don't get around to saying it when I get there. It's not because Sydney's the best place in the world or it's got the best girls in the world, that's just secondary consideration. But really it's because I've got the best parents in the world and uh, I couldn't imagine two better people to spend today with. And we've had so few in the past that I'm very grateful to have today and the next couple of days with you. Warrant Officer Alec McCluskey commands a platoon of modern yard troops based here at Play 2. His wife, Pam, and his four children are living in Holsworthy. Hi, right, Pam. How you going, Dale? Uh, sorry I won't be home at Christmas uh, to have lunch, uh, dinner with you, but uh, I had to be home early in the year on the R&R. I'll see you then, and uh, I'd like to say, uh, today, Alec, Michael, Julie, Philip. I'll see you early in uh, January, and uh, when I come back again, I won't have so long to go before I, uh, I'm home with you for good. Also, I'd like to thank... Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Auntie Nett and Uncle Ted for his son uh, to pay him while I've been across here and uh, I'll thank him first when I get home. Warrant Officer Lachlan Snowcroft acts as a uh, advisor to a modern yard platoon commander in the 2nd Battalion Mobile Strike Force. His family are living in Liverpool. Hello darling, uh, Merry Christmas to you. Happy New Year. Uh, Brian, Douglas, uh, Merry Christmas to you. Uh, Lee, Kerry ann Frank, Scott, I hope you've been good for Mummy. Merry Christmas to you, Mum, Dad, and then um, all the best for the new year. Hope to see you soon. 
Warrant Officer John Vincent is a platoon commander with Mike Force. He is the son of Professor J.M. Vincent, University of New South Wales. Hi folks, my mum and dad. Hope you're having a happier Christmas at home as we are up here. And no doubt Santa Claus has been good to the children, Sally, and Jonathan and Robin. And with Christmas here, not long and I'll be back home again to see you all. Australian advisors are operating in many areas in the Delta. Warrant Officer Bob King here is just arriving back in Vinbin in Vin Bin province after a couple of days well-earned rest. Back in 1966, Warrant Officer Bob King was known as the Mayor of Binja. That was on his first tour. This time he's been working more out of the village of Hugh too. Warrant Officer King's family are waiting for him in Holsworthy. I believe this is uh, going to uh, be at home for Christmas. And I'm sure uh, Barb will be able to take uh, care of everyone in my absence. Especially that uh, little fellow, that, uh, that grandson of ours. Looking forward to seeing him. Okay. Warrant Officer John Vincent is the platoon commander with Mike Force here at Play Q. Today he has a rather special message for Miss Margaret Walters in Nana Wadding. Hi Margaret, how's Christmas back in God's country? We're having ourselves a, a quiet time here and the kiddies are obviously enjoying themselves. Say hi to Rusty and Roddy for me and what with Christmas here, be home very soon and looking forward to seeing you again. This fountain is in the very heart of Saigon. It's located at the intersection of Laloy and Win Way. It's a favourite attraction for sightseeing. Van Kiep is a training centre for South Vietnamese troops just outside of Baria, the province capital. It is also the base for a number of uh, mobile advisory teams. Some members of the Australian Army training team are working with the Vietnamese here in the Phuc Thuy province as well as in some of the more northern provinces. Warrant Officer Class 2 John McCartney is uh, an advisor to the regional forces here in the Phuc Thuy province. He comes from Campbelltown. Hello uh, darling and also Michelle. I wish to send you uh, Christmas greetings uh, for the Christmas and the New Year, also to my many friends at home. This is the Harold Holt Memorial Pool. It is located alongside the Peter Badco Club here at Bung Chau. Every couple of months, troops from the task force get the opportunity to come down here and spend a couple of days relaxing. In addition to the five days R&R leave out of country, soldiers serving here in Vietnam are entitled to five days rest and convalescent leave here at the R&C Centre in Bung Tau. Here the atmosphere is completely informal. Soldiers come here to relax and to forget the rigours of operation. Members of the Australian Army's training team are serving in many areas of Vietnam. We came across Warrant Officer John Hartman in the province of Vinh Binh in the Mekong Delta. Sergeant Major Hartman's family are living in Salisbury, Queensland. Well, first of all, I'd like to say uh, Merry Christmas, Mum and Dad. I sure would like to be with you both. And uh, I'm sure you'd like to be uh, with me also, up there and having a few beers. Uh, I'd like to also pass on the best for Christmas to Lorraine and family and uh, any other of our good friends there in Brisbane. I hope to see you in the near future, so have a good time for Christmas and New Year, New Year Mum and Dad. Bye. This little oasis has been the palazzo of the community centre here at Nui Dat. The community centre contains a snack bar, a projection room, a billiard room, a hobby centre and various other amenities. It's a favourite place for soldiers to relax in their off-duty. The commander of the Australian forces in Vietnam is Major General R.A. Hay. His family reside in the Canberra suburb of Red Hill. Today is Christmas Day. It's a day when the thoughts of all sailors, soldiers and airmen under my command here in Vietnam turn naturally towards home and their loved ones. That's why I welcome the opportunity today to speak on their behalf and particularly for those who have not had the opportunity to send a message on this program. Thank you all for the support you have given this force over the past year. The number of gifts and Christmas cakes sent to servicemen other than by their families illustrates this in a most tangible manner. Much of this support comes from the large Australian organisations, churches, industry and commerce. But a significant amount continues to come from individuals at home who have no family ties with the servicemen or servicewomen here in Vietnam. The past year has been both challenging 
and demanding for the Australian force. The difficulties of service under operational conditions have not lessened in this period, and neither has the importance of the role they are playing. You can be justly proud of the efforts of all members of the force during 1969. The serviceman, because of his ready sense of humour, his respect for the laws and customs of the country, continues to be a fine ambassador for Australia. I can assure you that everything is being done to provide an opportunity for troops to relax when operational needs permit. Again, because of your support, amenities and recreational facilities are of a higher standard than ever provided in an operational area. Despite the long separation of families and loved ones, the morale of the force is high. On behalf of all members of the Australian force in Vietnam, may I wish you all a happy Christmas and an even happier reunion in 1970. And now, if I may, I would like to join those members of my force in Vietnam who have sent personal messages to their families to add a brief personal message to mine. I'm thinking of all of you today. A very happy Christmas to you, Andre dear, and a Robin, Edward and Geoffrey. God bless you all. My fondest love, and I'll see you in a few months. Goodbye.